Should you build tequila? Short answer, yes. Long answer. This entire video. Konnichiwa. Kimi ga doctor da yo ne. Sa. Konkai mo o kyak san o shikkari mo tenashi te ageyo. Ernesto Salas, also known as Tequila, is a five star liberator guard from Bolivar. Pancho's son, and La Pluma's brother. With Chen's recommendation, he is now an operator for Rhodes Island. Like his sister, Tequila is also the first operator in the new Liberator Guard archetype. And a free unit from Dozoles Holiday Event. For starter, let's see this new guard tray. This guard is more or less similar like Carnelian, the Phalanx Caster. Liberator Guard will not block and attack enemy when their skill is not active. And they will gradually increase their attack up to plus 200%, after 40 seconds in their idle state. And then resets after their skill ends. For Tequila, his sword should have a burning effect when his tray is fully charged. Then his general stats. Tequila is currently the most tanky guard, thanks to his archetype. But have a very low attack, luckily, we can work this out with his tray. And his attack speed is also very swift. Because of his tray, Tequila won't block enemies in his idle state. But when his skill is active, he can block 2 enemies, and 3 at elite 2. Also keep in mind that Tequila will need someone behind, to prevent leaks. And then his talent. When attacked during idle state, reflects with arts damage equal to 20% of attack to the attacker. Well it's a nice talent to have, but won't really do anything impactful. And then this is Tequila's potentials upgrade. No big improvement, but he's a free unit. So you should get his potentials from event shop, if you have extra event currency. And he's currently doesn't have a module upgrade. And then moving to his skills, the first skill. Increase attack speed, and attack damage. A very generic one, and will only hit one enemy, so his next skill is undeniably better. And then his second skill. This skill will expand his range, attacks to targets, and increased attack. This skill can also be charge, the charge effect will increase his target count to 3, and double the skill duration. This skill can be manually deactivate, a good way to control, and have a great SP cost and duration. Also, that 40 seconds to charge the skill, is the same time to fully charged his tray attack boost. So it's a great skill, and a great way to know when he can maximize his attack. This skill is Tequila's main skill, that can deliver a good amount of physical damage. But for mastery candidate, I think this skill is fine at level 7. M3 will add only 30% attack, or plus 2 initial SP at M2. So he's not a priority to M3. But well if you like to use him, this skill is your best pick for him. As for his base skills. When assigned to a trading post. If the amount of metals traded is higher than 3. Increase the LMD gained by 500. Additionally reduce moral per hour. Having a 4 order of metals is not common. Even if you put someone like by Beak or Shama. Though I'm not really sure about this. But I think tequila can just be put in the trading post. When you're going to deliver those metal order. So he doesn't need to be always in the trading post. So, will Ernesto become a good operator for your team? A decent free unit, that showcase what this new archetype capable of. Although because of his nature, that won't attack enemy when skill not active. And have to wait for 40 seconds in order to deliver the maximum damage. He's a pretty tricky unit to use. For new players, I suggest you build some basic operators first. And if you want to use him, Elite 1 should be enough in the meantime. As for mastery, you can mastery his skills later, if there's operator that need it. Tequila might not be the most game changing operator in the game. But he's actually pretty amazing with his skill too, and relatively cheap to invest. Not to mention that he's a free unit. So grab your sanity. 
We got Yuji to claim. That should be all. Adios.